This is the second video I take a look at probability tree diagrams. In this question we're told that Tara has eight balls in a box, five of them are blue, three of them are red. Tara takes a random a ball from the box and writes down its colour. Tara then puts the ball back in the box. Then Tara takes at random a second ball from the box and writes down its colour. Complete the probability tree diagram. So First of all, the probability that Tara takes a blue ball is going to be 5 eighths. The probability that she takes a red ball is going to be 3 eighths. There are 5 blue balls, 3 red balls. The probability of her choosing a blue would be 5 eighths. And the probability of choosing a red would be 3 eighths. So that's on the first ball. Now, important point here. Is it says that Tara puts the ball back in the box. Then she does exactly the same thing again. She takes out another ball from the box. So, what we can say then is that the probabilities are going to be exactly the same the second time round. The exact same number of balls are in the box as they were the first time. And so the probability of her choosing a blue ball would be 5 eighths. Red ball, 3 eighths. Blue ball, 5 eighths. And a red ball, three eighths. Okay, so that's the probability tree filled in. Now, part B asks us to work out the probability that Tara takes the exactly one ball of each colour from the box. So, let's take a look at the possible ways in which that could happen. She could choose, um, so exactly one ball of each colour. So she could choose a blue first. She could choose a blue first and then choose a red. Or she could choose a red first and then choose a blue. Both of these routes through the probability tree would give us just one ball of each colour. If she took blue and then blue, she'd have two blues. If she took red and red, she'd have two reds. That doesn't work. So we would have to choose a red, then a blue or we could choose a blue then a red. So let's work out the probability of each of these. So blue then red. Well that's just going to be 5 eighths for the blue multiplied by 3 eighths for the red. So that gives us 5 times 3, 15. 8 times 8, 64. That gives us 15 sixty-fourths. Then what we could then say is that in order to find um, a red ball then a blue ball. We could also go this route and choose a red ball first then a blue ball. Probability of choosing a red first be 3 eighths multiplied by 5 eighths. So again we've got exactly the same calculation. 3 times 5 gives us 15 and then 8 times 8 that gives us 64. Now that gives us our two possible combinations. What we then need to do is we've worked out the probability of blue then red, we've worked out the probability of red then blue. We could have either of these combinations so we just need to add these together to find the total probability. So that would be 15 over 64 multiplied by 15, uh, sorry, plus 15 over 64. When we add these together that gives us 30 over 64 and then we can leave our answer like that if we wanted to if we wanted to we could simplify this fraction down and call that uh, 15 over 32